Today is March the 30th. Why do the wicked choose to live wickedly? Let's find out together as we study Psalm 36 and 37 and Proverbs 9. In reading through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read Psalm 36 and 37 and Proverbs 9 today. So in Psalm 36, um, we're introduced to a very interesting, it, it follows the theme that we've been seeing, uh, the wicked and the righteous and the differences between them. But we get at the purpose, we get at the why behind the wickedness. Chapter 36, verses 1 and 2, sin whispers to the wicked. Deep within their hearts, they have no fear of God at all. In their blind conceit, they cannot see how wicked they really are. The psalmist says, the wicked are so used to living wickedly that it has ceased to be a problem for them. They can't even see it. They're blind to their own wickedness. Now in Psalm 36 and 37, beautiful Psalms, he talks about many of the things, uh, many of the differences between the wicked and the righteous. Um, I just love 37, five to nine, it's, it's beautiful. Could be a, a subject for many a sermon. But I wanna come back to Psalm 37, verses 30 and 31. The godly offer good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They've made God's law their own, so they'll never slip from his path. What's the difference between the wicked and the righteous? The wicked are blind. They don't look beyond themselves. They don't look for a different life. And so they simply follow the life that they have. The righteous, two main differences. First, God's law. They're serious about seeing what it is that God says to us about how we should live. And secondly, godly counsel. They have friends, and with those friends, they commonly talk about how to live a better life. Now, carrying on to Proverbs chapter 9, uh, we actually see something very similar to that. In Proverbs 8, wisdom began to speak to us. Wisdom called out. She continues calling in chapter 9. For the, for the first 12 verses, wisdom continues to call out to us. Verse 10 is kind of the epitome of her call. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. But Solomon can't resist. At the end of chapter 9, folly calls out. The woman named Folly is brash. She's ignorant. And she doesn't know it. Does that remind you of Psalm 36, the wicked are blind. They don't even see their wickedness. Folly is ignorant and doesn't even realize it. What's the difference between wisdom and folly? Wisdom hears God's word, seeks godly counsel. Folly, the wicked, live within themselves. They are trying to be the best you that they can be. The Christian is called to be the best you that God calls you to be. Don't look at yourself. Look to Him. Like, follow, and subscribe to this podcast on whatever platform you used to listen to it. Email your questions to us 
at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll ask the question, what did Jesus preach about?